Hi there. My name is Kelsey Tarosian, and I'm the Director of Admission Services at College, the leading college admissions consulting firm in Southern California. Um, so when I counsel students to make a test plan for successful college outcomes, even if it's for a test optional, test flexible, or even test free uh, set of schools, I always have them keep two things in mind. Number one, um, whether or not to take the test. This is really a great question to ask yourself. The wonderful truth is that you do not need to take a test this year to be considered an admissions, but if you're applying to highly selective colleges or if you have the opportunity to take a test, it may be worth studying for and taking an ACT or SAT. So that brings me to number two. If you are going to take a test for college admissions, make it a priority and then be ready to be flexible with cancellations. Um, if you're taking a test, you want to establish a baseline through a diagnostic practice test and then study your weak points, whether that's on your own with a test prep book or with a tutor, um, and then take as many practice tests as you can throughout your process. But if your tests get canceled, or if in the end you're just not happy with your final score, don't worry you're still going to be able to apply in this new test optional world. Um, final pro tip, a lot of students actually find their best success with testing happens at the end of summer before senior year. And if you're looking for some good free resources, check out Khan Academy. That is K-H-A-N academy.org. There's a lot of fantastic free testing resources there. So start planning, start prepping if you want to, you've got this. Um, and finally, if you have a test and you don't don't know whether to submit your score or not, you can always find us at thecollege.org. You'll see it on your screen, but that's T-H-E-C-O-L-L-E-D-G-E dot O-R-G. Have a great day.